Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. Um, in today's message, what we're going to be talking about um, today, we're going to be talking about some of the people who you've left behind, right? The people that you had to X out of your life, not because you were acting bougie, not because you was acting brand new. Not because you wanted to cut these people off, right? I'm feeling that the people who I'm talking to today, you had to cut some people out of your life, man, because it's just the red flags were just showing. It was just clear as day that these were just not the people that you needed in your life. And see, the message for today of what I wanted to go over, I'm feeling that a lot of these people really screwed themselves out of an opportunity to really be in your life, to be in your life as a family member, to be in your life as a friend, to be in your life just, you know, as a lover. Why? A lot of these people, like I tell y'all, you know, I told you jealousy is an ugly trait. And let me tell you something, at the end of the day, I tell y'all guys, I'm not perfect. But one thing I can tell you and one thing that you need to know, if people can't respect your presence, bless them with your absence. And that's period, point blank. If, if, if people, I don't care who they are, I don't care if they tell you that they love you, but then their actions show different. Some of y'all have people around you, man. I told y'all, I tell y'all all the time, that secret competition. And the only reason why you'll ask yourself, well, why me? It's not like I'm the I'm I'm the richest person in the world, the prettiest person, or this, this, that, and the third. I tell you all the time, number one, it's because you've chosen. And number two, the journey and the path that you're on, what you're destined to become. You get me what I'm saying? I tell you all the time, people can see that and sense that on you. They know you're not no Johnny come by lately type of regular, degler, smegler person. And see, a lot of these people felt like a fly on the wall, felt like a speck standing next to you, and they couldn't handle it. So you'll find yourself... And I know I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong because watch what I'm about to say. There were certain situations, right, that you were in. It made you look at these people sideways. But I'm feeling like you overlooked it because of the years. You overlooked it because of the bond that you thought you had with people, right? Something so simple like y'all playing a game and maybe they trying to shorthand you or undercut you or do something because they want to win a simple game. Like... You, it made you look at these people sideways like, you pressed by the game, you gotta do all this to do this and you know try to win a game. And I'm feeling like they maybe they did it when they saw that you was winning or whatever the case may be. In whatever situation these people, maybe it'd be like somebody trying to talk to you. You just, the thing is, I'm feeling like it just come natural for you. It come natural for you to attract people. It come natural, your intelligence, you're, you're, you know, um, quick on your feet, you know, you, you funny, you just natural with it. You get me what I'm saying? And a lot of these people, they hated that about you. They hated that about you that, you know, you were so intelligent, the, the, the caliber of men that maybe you were attracting, the jobs, uh, the caliber of women that you were attracting, the money that you was making, you just always were 10 steps ahead of these people that you were around. It's, it's, it's clear, it's evident, the proof is in the pudding. And these are people who talked about you. It could be family, whatever the case may be. One thing about it that they always see about you, you always land on your feet. And not only do you land on your feet, you always place yourself in a position to succeed and do better than what you was doing um, previously or when they last saw you or whatever the case may be. You always on the come up. And so when you come around people and people be like, dang, so-and-so, what's up, bump, bump, bump. Yeah, man, you know, I just got this. Or they can see it. Like, they can see it that you bought your money, you want to come up. You get me what I'm saying? When you open your mouth, you're a conversationalist. You get me? Um, you're very intellectual. So let's say that a person trying to call you whatever behind your back, that you don't know this, or trying to call you stupid behind your back, and maybe you come around a group of people. And as soon as you start talking, you open up your mouth, you put you dropping dimes and knowledge on other people. The way that you talk and the way that you handle yourself, people looking like, oh, what, what? The very same people that these people you cut out your life, who they was going and talking to, 
Now people looking at you different because it's not anything. Let me, it, it's you don't know what some of these friends or family were saying behind your back. That's the thing. But see, the people who they were talking to are seeing you, and they like, dang, like so. It's making these people even more upset that they just they can't say anything bad on you. And if if they do, it's like God always has the last say so. He always vindicates you and clear your name to where people don't have no choice but to sit back and respect the type of person, the king and the queen, the prince and the princess that you are. So at the end of the day, you know, um, I'm feeling that, you know, what I'm about to say, you know, you had to cut these people out because at the end of the day, God's saying the reason why these people turn their back on you, the reason why they talked about you, the reason why they left you with no choice but to X them out your life is because they couldn't handle how great you are. JC, back me up. GP, are you with me? You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to join the JC game. Reach one, teach one. We ride together. We slide together. JC game for life. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. That's what you need. That's, that's, that's what you started telling people when you woke the hell up and realized who you were. So there are certain gifts and abilities that you haven't even tapped into yet. These people think that, okay, maybe you, you done came up with whatever the case may be. They thought, they thought they had something to hate on. Now you really about to give people a reason. You really about to give people a reason now. Because at the end of the day, God's saying, man, this money train ain't stopping. Can't nobody stop that. Don't worry your little head about the fake friends, the fake family, that who you had to cut out. Because let me tell you something. Laugh now, cry later. Your success, your money, that come up, that glow up, got all your haters and enemies and foes and adversaries 38 hot. I'm trying to tell you something. They are so livid. They are they are upset. Do you hear me what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you something. This is confirmation. You know, every time I come on here, I come at that real. I'm trying to tell you something. I don't know who y'all done cut off. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is that you saw, but let me tell you something. Whoever talking and talking out their mouth, talking sideways, posting those subliminals, I'm telling you, they doing it because they jealous and they vengeful and they just, they hate, they trying to do whatever to try to knock you off. So let me tell you something, whatever it is that you done came across, man, don't take that thing to heart. Let it go, release it in love, charge it to the game and keep it pushing forward. Because let me tell you something, it's always when God is doing good for you and about to take you to the next level of your life that the enemy and the devil fight you so hard, nail and two, to try to bring you back. But we ain't got, we don't came too far to go back. We don't came too far to let people bring us down. Be the bigger person. Because understand that you was always on a whole nother level than these people, baby. They couldn't handle your greatness. They they laughed at you when they didn't understand you. And now they mad at themselves now that you don't want nothing to do with them. Because now they see all the success and the money. What, what Beyonce said? The best revenge that you can have is your paper. Stat that paper. Keep doing what God needs you to do. Keep doing right by other people. Man, keep your, your set regimen, keep your schedule, whatever it is that you're doing, man. Stack that money, stack that money, stack that money. Keep being successful, baby. Keep being beautiful. Keep being handsome. Keep stepping out. Keep doing you. Keep dating. Keep keep pursuing your dreams and your aspirations and your goals, man. Don't let these people set you back. Because let me tell you something. They screwed themselves up out of out of an opportunity to be with you. Because at the end of the day, they 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 did so much. That's that's the thing with people. They so smart to they dumb. So caught up in themselves instead of looking at the bigger picture, respecting you. All they had to do was just respect you for who you were. Who you were to them. You ain't never judge these people. But for some strange 
wicked reason. They found it funny, humorous to sit up there and talk about you behind your back. To, 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 to laugh at your downfalls and your shortcomings to other people. And now all these people look dumb and stupid. Because let me tell you something. Whereas you sit up there and you talk about a person when they're in the darkest moments of their life. Fighting to just be better. Fighting to just to want to feel like you want to live life. You know what I'm saying? Like fighting just to see another day. I keep trying to tell you, man. It's like you are an awakened species amongst unwakened people. You were awakened. You you knew what it was and what it wasn't. You didn't get caught up in trying to be like everybody else and trends and all that type of stupid stuff. Because at the end of the day, you know it didn't mount up to nothing. You couldn't be nobody but your true, authentic self. And people mocked you for it. People laughed at you for it. But let me tell you something. At the end of the day, you know that you got a friend in me. You know that you got a sister in me. But back to the message. It was so funny. You know why you can't understand people's psyche? Because they were never meant to be on the path with you. They on a whole different other path. And I'm not here to judge nobody. But at the end of the day, if people got inner demons that they have to search out in their soul and get right and get rid of and find God to try to ground themselves, just as you had to do, then at the end of the day, you had no choice but to cut these people off so you can leave them to go do that. Because I'm feeling that a lot of people, maybe they don't realize it right after you cut them off, but eventually it started sinking in like, okay, so-and-so want to just back up from you for no reason. Or if they're trying to figure out why you backed up, then they'll start thinking about the things of which they thought you didn't know that they did behind your back and they knew it was wrong. So, you know, at the end of the day, these people know that they screwed themselves out of an opportunity to be around you, but they so mad, man. Your enemies, people who you cut off, man, these ex-people, man, they are so mad. I'm trying, to tell you I'm trying to tell you something. I was sitting yesterday, I was, you know, putting this message together and um, I had my, uh, my prayers planned to protect me from my enemies and things like that. I always keep that running all day. For some strange reason, you know, like I came back, I was like, I went to go do something and I didn't hear the prayers playing and I went back to go check my phone and no one had called, no one had text anything, it just paused. I said, why my own, I put my prayers back on and I played it again. And then it did it a second time. I said, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not about to go through this. And then I started praying, 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 because I didn't know what was going on. Normally, if you plan a video, just so y'all understand where I'm coming from, a video ain't just supposed to pause on its own like that. Like if, if a text message come through or maybe if a call come through, okay. If, if, you know, um, something that pops up on the phone that causes that particular video to stop playing, then yeah. But I didn't have any text messages, anything coming through on that phone. So for me, I'm just saying like, and that's never happened before. So I'm just saying like, they are mad. They mad, they're mad that they just, they know at the end of the day, even if they wanted to come back, you just not gonna have it because you think about how you were so genuine with it, man. I'm feeling like it hurt y'all to have to cut these people off. It hurt y'all to have to cut these people off. It did. But at the end of the day, you have to understand something. When God is about to take you to the next level of your life, man, and I keep trying to tell y'all that, and I'm never going to stop saying it, you have to understand that big things are set up for you because what you're going through is not normal, especially when you had to deal with it on every end. We're not just talking about friends. We're talking about fake family, too. Why, why people got to face something of which they know they don't feel when all they got to do is just keep it real and keep their distance from you? People out here trying to compete where they don't compare, trying to make comparisons. And one thing about it, see, the thing is why that hate was even more strong in coming through. When they look at you and then they look at them and then they doing comparisons, which no one should be comparing themselves to nobody, Right. Especially when you say you love a person, you got a person back. Don't compare yourself to a person. I'm trying to tell you something. When they did this and they went down the list, they realized 
and ain't no competition. But they just, they couldn't come to grips with it. So they tried to do every little thing to try to be better than you or make you feel like you just wasn't on their level. Like you was just some tag alone. Like you was just over there. Like you just here. You get me what I'm saying? Like you just merely existing. I say, no, you great. Uh-uh. Don't you ever let nobody make you feel like that. Like you just here. And see, the thing about it, the reason why these people made you feel like that is because they know you was everything but. What they was trying to what they was trying to say, they know good and well. All they was doing was just fooling themselves, deceiving themselves, lying to themselves. People to the, the people that I'm speaking to today, man, y'all just y'all naturally got it. Like beauty, like just yo, your style, your grace. You know, you're blessed. You're blessed and you're favored. And these people are mad that you had to cut them off, baby. But at the end of the day, they don't have nobody to think but themselves because they did it. They did it. You had no choice but to cut them off to get to where you needed to be. And as soon as you did abundance and all that stuff trying to, started coming in for you. That's God trying to tell you something. Watch how bad you were struggling when you had these people in your life. And then watch how things just did a full 180. As soon as you started going down the list, cut, 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 cut. All this stuff, money, 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 success started coming. You started looking better. Everything started coming in. Maybe it's going to take a while before you build your network and your circle back up again. But let me tell you something. Be great. Be glad that you got your abundance and you got peace because you never truly know people. You never truly know people. All that having a whole hill of friends a mountain all these type of friends and you don't even know who really rocking with you who really rolling with you, you don't really know people sit back and, and just thank that man that he brought success in abundance your way and maybe you don't have these friends maybe you really don't want to get back close with some of these family members and maybe you are alone right now. And if you're not, then to take it how it resonates. If it's not lovers and you're in a relationship, but maybe you had to cut off friends and some family members, or maybe you, you, you know, get me what I'm saying? Take it how it resonates. Whoever you had to cut off, you know it needed to go that way because you couldn't make no one move with the same level of integrity as you was moving with like when you how you had integrity for yourself your morals was attacked you was moving in good faith towards people you couldn't make people do that same thing for you you can't make people respect you can't make people like you because at the end of the day when you sit back and you try to figure out why were they even in that headspace in the, to begin with you can't even you don't even have no answers for it because it's not like you was overbearing with it, it you was very humble very loving, very giving. These people were ignorant, they were stupid, they was petty. And they ain't had a sense. They evidently they didn't. Because all they had to do was just move right with you and they would have been in your life. But you know, at the end of the day, you know that God orchestrates things to work out the way that He needs it to go. So you had to see it. You had to see these people for who they were. And some of them didn't really show you until you cut them off. You get me what I'm saying? Some things and actions that they took against you, they waited until they was no longer in your good graces. I'm feeling I had to say that too. And if they waited, then you know what? They was never real to begin with. Don't be like, oh, well, we, you know, we ain't friends no more. Well, you know, da 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 Certain things you just don't do. Whether you're friends with a person no more or not. Like, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not friends with a whole lot of people, but I still, I still keep their secrets. Even though I know people didn't do it with me. And that's cool. And that's okay. And because I'm telling you, I know that the reason why I was being blessed and I'm being blessed and I will continually be blessed is because how I move towards people. Some days it get hard. Some days it get lonely. But when I sit back, man, and I look at and I look back on where I came from, I realize I don't want to go back there. As much as I I love these people with every being in my body, 
a, you know you love a person when you when you hurt by their actions. You like, damn man, I thought you was my friend. I'm thinking back to all the good times we had when we was laughing, we was hugging. You that's crazy. You looked me in my eye. You told me that you would have my back. You said you would never betray me. You said that you see us getting old and da da da. I'm feeling like you made plans with some of these people. I feel like with certain family, you felt like you had something to prove. But no matter what, stupid stuff still come out their mouth. And at the end of the day, it's not your fault. That's the message for today. You know, even though your enemies are mad, the haters, they mad that you cut them off. You no longer want to deal with them. The success that's coming in and the success that is about to come in. I keep telling y'all this is the tip. Man, man, man. They are sitting somewhere just beating themselves up. And if they're not doing that and they're not showing people, trust and believe they miss what they had with you. But it ain't nobody's fault but theirs because they know that the actions they took when they was with you or the actions that they took after they stopped hanging with you, they know it ain't no coming back from that because it was five. See, sometimes you got to let a person do what they feel like they big and bad enough to do. I keep trying to tell y'all that. I'm never going to stop saying it. Let a person do whatever they feel like they big and bad enough to do. Because in the end, God allowed it to where all they did was just exit. They, you know, they screwed themselves out of an opportunity to be with you because the way that they was moving, they thought that, oh, I, I don't need this person as my friend. Like, I'm the one that was doing this and da 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 da, -da. I ain't going to miss them. Da, da da When a person can't respect your presence, right? Bless them with your absence. That's what you did with the family. They could, you know, maybe you was always one to come around. You was always one to come around. You was always the one trying to, you know, be the family person and always being a bigger person. Maybe you knew things. Maybe certain things was brought to your attention. But you still came around as if you didn't even know nothing. As if, you feel me, like, whatever information was brought to you, like it wasn't even brought to you. When you went around people, people would never even know that you know that they talked about you because the way you move you get me it's not like if you know you come from a dysfunctional family or a toxic family you get me but when you come around people it's love it's love it's love you know at the end of the day it's like you was moving right by people but people couldn't move right by you so they couldn't respect your presence in the most kindest way you blessed them with your absence and now they mad because number one they know you're not coming back and number two they know that they can't come back but that's neither here nor there god is blessing you and at the end of the day he's letting you know through this message today that these people had to get cut off that they had to get blocked you had to get them up out your life because let me tell you something whatever wasn't illuminated to you before the blessings started coming in let's just say the blessings would have came in what they would have done maybe whatever you found out now just think on what level they would have done it if if they felt like where they perceived you to be in a different way or perceived you to be of higher status or whatever the case may be you know i feel like a person really show you who they are you at the lowest lowest uh point of your life and I feel like some of y'all had to go through these low points so you could separate the real from the fake. A real person gonna be seen with you, gonna be your friend, gonna love you, not gonna talk behind your back, whether I don't care how you looking. I don't care what your mindset is. I don't care how you move because see how you move towards them is with love. So they reciprocated back to you. But fake people, they showed you who they really was, laughed that you thought it was funny, talked about you thought it was funny. And now it's not funny no more. Laugh now, cry later, they crying. Because it ain't no more getting back, ain't no more friends. Ain't no more family is all we got. Ain't no more I'ma love you to the very end. People showed you who they were. Now it's for you to keep pushing and trucking forward and keep being blessed because you know that you protected. And at the end of the day, I want you to understand that if you need a friend, 
You got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, you know that you got it in me. I'm your sister. I'm your friend. I'm your confidant. I come with that real. I don't come with that fake. I keep it 100. I keep it a buck. I, I tell y'all what it is and what it's not. I'm that shoulder that you can lean on. I'm that shoulder that you can cry on. I'm that listening ear that you can vent to. So I want y'all to understand, man, don't take it personal. And if you got to cry and if you got to pray to God to just give you the strength, man, because you still got love in your heart for these people, but you couldn't take them where you were going. It's, I know it's hard, but you got to buckle down because you don't want to lose everything you worked so hard to build up to this point. Trying to bring fake, fake people back in your life. Take it for what it is. Stop thinking that, oh, if I come back and I stop. Because you don't want people who give you conditional love. They'll, oh, as long as you up and up, as long as you looking good, as long as you did that, 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 that. Be with the ones, man, who was rocking with you, trying to help you, trying to love you, trying to heal you, man, because they knew you was hurt and broken. Be with the people who came to your rescue when you was at the lowest points in your life, because those are the ones who going to carry it out to the very end. And when I say the very end, I mean the very end. Okay? So until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. I love y'all.